After the many comments I received on my masking tape video, I've gotten stuck into some other improvised te modeling techniques for making cloaks. Two comments from Just Make Stuff and Joe were to use a thick metal foil, the brass sheeting that's common in hobby shops, and then the tin that pies come in. As it's the cheaper option, hi I'm Edgar and I'm going to make a cloak out of a pie tin. I of course have the same grenade eating trooper from the masking tape video. With the masking tape removed he needs a new cloak. You can see here that there's already a patch missing from my pie tin as I've tested the idea by making a flag for my bolt action army. And this particular model is from Bad Squiddo Games. It seems to work quite well, nice and strong, and takes the primer, and so I should be in good stead to get started on this cloak. I realised when making the bolt action flag that smoothing out the metal was quite difficult after you've cut the piece away. And as these pythons have many details and undulations, the air holes and lines for various reasons, smoothing it out is quite important. So I'm just using a rounded plastic thing to gently press it flat. And I should point out that I've cleaned this pie tin since I had my dinner. This stuff is quite a bit thicker than kitchen tin foil, but it's still easy to cut with a craft knife. And I started with a fairly large piece which I could easily cut down to the right shape. It's even fairly easy to cut a curved line. Well, mostly curved. I did wonder if the edges would be sharp, as that's a common factor of cutting metal. But in these two models, the only sharp bits that I've really had is at the corners, and simply rounding them off or folding them in means they'll not stab you while you're moving your model around. One thing I wanted to do before the cloak went onto the model was get some folds, and this was relatively easy by using a smooth, rounded object and pressing the cloak over it on both sides to create the in and out folds but on the whole it was fairly quick to make, and I had this sample cloak glued to the model after about five minutes of cutting and folding. Now the back of the neck wasn't really looking all of that great, and so I used one of my off-cut bits to create a folded hood. This wasn't necessarily entirely successful, but it's close enough, and I guess a bit more practice will give you the experience to make just the shape you want. And so we move on to painting. My usual grey primer stuck just fine and paint flowed off the brush pretty well, although my brush here is quite old and not behaving itself. Mixing a lighter green in with my dark green for the first highlight layer, I ran this over any part of the cloak that was raised up, and then again with a stronger mix of the light green to bring out just the highest areas. Lastly, of course, my camo pattern consisting of a whole bunch of spots. Black, white, grey, brown, ochre, the earthy colours. As this video is just about making the tin cloak, I'll channel my best owl drawing tutorials by Step 1, paint the cloak. Step 2, paint the rest of the fair thing model. I of course painted the rest of the model and some others on livestream, which I do every week, which lets me keep this video to a much shorter length than otherwise. The model looks just fine for a five point model, and that's on my first attempt. With some practice in how to shape the metal and cuts and folds and getting it to look just right, this could easily be improved upon. It's quite strong as well, easily surviving drops from the gaming table onto the floor. It's cheap and easy to make, and it takes paint pretty nicely. I think overall this is another time that an improvised cloak ends up being a surprisingly good option. So thank you to the commenters who pointed me in this direction. And please everyone keep up those comments as any good idea will likely become another video for me to share with the community. I've done paper masking tape already and now I've done a pie tin foil version and I have a real fabric one on the way next so if you can think of another idea or an improvement to the metal sheet built in this video, do let me know. And also share the videos out with those model makers who need to be a little less snobby about how to build a model. And you'll be happy to know I've also finished painting that bolt action model. But for now, I'm Edgar, always will be, and thank you very much for watching.